Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a special topic that I should have made a long time ago. So why is the Apple Watch my favorite Apple device other than the iPhone? So without any further ado, what we're gonna do um so first of all i want to talk about my whole lineup of what is my favorite apple device um and what is my least favorite apple device from everything that they have released um so far the sun is starting to set i gotta hurry up when i get a new time lapse i actually got a time lapse last night guys and literally look at how good this time lapse was I mean, this time lapse was just amazing last night. I mean, look at those clouds. They are on the move. And the sun starts to set. I mean, it was beautiful. Only thing is, once it got pretty dark out, you can see the reflection of my house, my pantry, inside my phone. So, it's kind of a little bit upsetting. But, I mean, that looks pretty well. Um, I'm excited to try it again without lights on if I can um, until it gets pretty dark again. I started that last night at 5.53. It's 5.12, so we have a little bit. I want to start a little bit earlier, though, because I want to get more of the clouds and more of the sun that's passing by. But anyway, starting off with our Apple Store, um, talking about the new devices, like the iPhone, the Apple Watch. Um, it's Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV, AirPods, HomePod, iPod Touch, and does Apple Card count? I'm not going to make Apple Card count. It's not really a, a, a device. Um, I don't feel like everyone can get the Apple Card because of the, like, credit, like, the credit thing. Like, I even tried with my, uh, my grandfather one and one so I set it up on his phone, he applied for it. He literally was declined, and his credit's, like, really, really good credit. Um, I'm still working on my credit, so I would not think that I would be approved for it, but, I mean, his is, like, pretty good. Like, I'm not going to say the amount, but it's, it's in the good rating. It's in, um, not... What's the ratings for credit scores? Oh my gosh, come on now, there's a bug. It's always something, it's like COVID, a bug. I mean, what else could there be? Okay. Okay, so the ranges are bad, fair, good, and excellent. So yeah, he, he was in the good rating. Well, right on a good and excellent. Um, the good and excellent is at 719 and 720. His was 721 when he tried, and they would not approve him. And he has, like, nothing back his credit either. Like, I, I don't know. Apple must be, like, they must have, have like, A1 credit. I'm not saying what my credit score is, but anyway, mine is in the good rating as well, but it's in the lower good rating. Okay, moving forward, let's jump into their products. So, the first top of my favorite product is definitely the iPhone. I don't know what I could do without my phone, I just have to have my phone. Um, I love my phone incredibly, and I could never actually just, like, get up my phone, um, unless I wear my Apple Watch, which I love my Apple Watch. Um... So, anyway, it, I can hear that going on. I don't know what is going on. There's a PA lantern fly. What the flip? And I wanted to kill it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, what is this world coming to? Okay, so of course it's the iPhone first up. Next is the Apple Watch. Third, I would have to say the iPad. Because I use my iPad so much. And I would say fourthly is a MacBook. I don't even have a MacBook anymore. I don't even own a MacBook anymore. But I would say fourth. I would say fourth on my MacBook. Um, MacBook. 
I would say probably after a MacBook, which includes an iMac, any kind of Mac, I would say I would go with the HomePod as my next. Then probably the Apple TV. No, the Apple TV, then HomePod, then the AirPods, and then the iPod Touch. Like, I mean, I hate the iPod Touch. Like, I mean, it just gives me such weird vibes growing up when I had an iPod. Like, I really didn't even have an iPod. I only had the first ever iPod that was maybe iPod Touch. The first one was the only one that I ever had. And ever since then, um, mother got me the iPhone 3GS, then the iPhone 4S, then I had the iPhone 5C, then I had the iPhone 6 Plus, then I had the iPhone 6S, then I got a 6S Plus, then I had the 7 Plus, then the 8 Plus, then the 10, then the 11 Pro Max, and now the 12 Pro Max. Wow! <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about um, why the Apple Watch is second on my list. It's not first because I love my phone, okay? That's like my pride and joy. I do so much on my phone. Instagramming, I mean, I do so much on my phone. Literally, timers, clocks, reminders. I mean, I do so much on my phone. Now, the reason why the Apple Watch comes in second before I actually include the iPad is just because I love the way the iPad is, or the, I, the Apple Watch is. I love how I can just wear this thing right on my wrist, right here, and I can just take my little old little time in the morning before I run out of the house or whatever I'm gonna do in the morning. And I can just pop my watch right on my wrist and go do my daily activities. And then later, when I'm needed, like if I'm out running or something and someone sends me a message, then it can easily just go ping on my watch. I, hey Google, send a text message. I don't think she can. Sorry, I can't send text Hey Google. Call 717-582-6509. Okay, whatever, y'all. Um, anyway, besides that point, I mean, I love the just features of the watch. I love to know that if I can just like easily press my digital crown and I can catch up real quick, I can take my blood oxygen on my wrist. Let's go ahead and let it do its magic on my wrist right now. And we will check out what my uh, blood oxygen score is. I mean, the, I mean it's, just, it's just nuts what this Apple Watch can do. I mean, now they're working on a glucose tracking. Oh, I'm successful. Um, okay, this can be caused by loose Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like, make sure it's snug, but comfortable. Okay, it says snug. Maybe I can't talk, I'm gonna talk pretty low. Um, I love that, you know, I can use my watch and you know, that has so many health benefits, but also I can get phone calls and text messages and so much more. My blood oxygen is 92%. It's pretty low right now, but I just got a shower, and usually after a shower, my blood oxygen is pretty low. So the blood is rushing to the rest of your body because of the hot water. Um, I mean, cycle tracking, I don't need that. But some people would. You can add in your period symptoms, sexual activity, ovulation test results, cervical mucus quality, basal body temperature, and spotting. Um, I mean, the hearing right now, perfectly as we speak, I am talking at... Um, 71 decibels right now, actually about 74 decibels right now, and you know, now if I'm talking like this, this actually repeated long-term exposure to sounds at this level can damage your hearing. Um, and you know, the louder that you go. And listen, I'm going to be completely silent. Perfect. No cars went by either. I went down to 35. This thing, like, I mean, a decibel, like, just the hearing of total silence. Imagine yourself in a pure area of an island. The water's not moving. It's perfectly still. There's no wind, no vehicles, no cars, no sound at all. Perfectly silent. There will still be a decibel. Just the sound of actual nature goes off. Um... So, you know, I just love having all these different health benefits right on my wrist. I love being able to see what the weather is right exactly now and not having to wait any 
And uh, I would say I love the workouts as well. One of my favorite things that I've always looked in the Apple Watch is how easy it is to just... Well, I don't have it set up. But how easy it is to just double click your Apple Watch button. And I can automatically use my credit card in here and I can automatically pay without even having to basically go and, you know, do all that. I love, in, I lo I love it. Um, and I also really love my Apple Watch, how I can just take a moment to breathe and live a better day by taking a minute to breathe and quiet my mind and relaxing and trying to complete at least one session a day is very big for me. I have done none today. Um, so, but, I mean, it's just so amazing and checking your heartbeat. I mean, you can take a literal ECG on your Apple Watch. I mean, it is amazing what Apple has implemented with their Apple Watch. Let's take an ECG real quick. And automatically, it tells me a sinus rhythm. I can add symptoms, so I don't have any right now, and then I can add done. And then basically, I can go right on my phone. I have a notification there from health. I can do my face ID, ECG recording available. And now I literally have this brand new thing from today of an ECG. And I can literally click export a PDF to your doctor, and I can actually use this PDF and I can send it right to my doctor. It's a beautiful PDF, and it tells you what time and everything on the PDF. And I suppose there's an update available for this, so I'm gonna continue. Results you may see atrial fibrillation. Um, it will detect, oh, and it also de it's updated um, your low and heart, high heart rate, um, inconclusive. It means the recording could not be classified in a poor recording. A poor recording can be classified and it can have information when you your Resting your arms on a table or your Apple Watch is too loose. Oh, not resting your arms on a table. So remember, it cannot detect a heart attack. It cannot detect blood clots or a stroke. It cannot detect other heart-related conditions. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. The easy step is not to eight. Okay. I mean, I love how I can view everything in my summary. I can see my blood oxygen was 92, and I can see my entire year of all the times that I've checked it. Um, I can see my blood pressure. Well, I have to add that myself um, with an actual machine. This does not do that yet. Um, I can see my electrocardiograms. The first ever electrocardiogram I took was I took 53 in all. And the first one I took was 117 in 2019 at 8 o'clock p.m. That was the first day I got my Apple Watch series. Um, I mean, I can go back through all this. I mean, I can just look at my hand washing. Uh, my heart rate, my mind for minutes, my sleep. Like I slept nine hours and 36 minutes. Listen, I went to bed at 9.55 last night. Woke up at 7.31 this morning. I can see all my steps. Uh, I mean, it is amazing, my hearing. Um, and one of my other favorite features, I think the most thing that I probably use my Apple Watch for, I would say is probably the activity, number one, which is like steps and all that. And then I the wall. I think the other thing that I use my watch mostly for, is like notifications. I'm not really gonna say like answering phone calls, but replying to text messages, it's like bam. I like to actually take a phone call on my phone. Um, I mean, you don't really go anywhere now anyway, so it's so much easier just to be like, oh, someone's coming, hello, or oh, someone's texting. Have up right there. But like I said, like my phone's up here and I'm downstairs trying to like do some laundry. And, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, what about for dinner tomorrow? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that works. Like, you know, whatever. It's so easy to do that. I think another cool thing is I can actually listen to my own podcast right on my actual Apple Watch. It's so epic. Um, so I can actually choose where to play it at. Um, and if I would be my AirPods. But, I mean, you can do all that. I like being able to see my reminders. Um, I can go right to my to-do list. And I can see I have to clean my room, do dishes, and clean kitchen. I have to get my shower. I can mark as completed. I can do my nails, mark as completed. Clean basement, clean sunroom, clean bathroom, and get my sunset time lapse. And then I can even add another reminder as well. 
I mean, it is just great what this Apple Watch can do and the benefits of it are amazing. I mean, you can even read your email. Now, I don't use the iCloud, like Apple, actual Apple email. I like to use Gmail. I don't think they have a Gmail app on here. No, but even my one bank account, um, my one Santander bank account, I can actually open it up and it's not letting me in right now because I'm not logged in, but it will. Um, and you know, it's, it's amazing with all the different things that you can do. Now we actually have a compass right on our watch. So let's say we get a little bit lost and we're walking in the forest. I mean, we can just turn it right there is perfectly west. Right there is perfectly south. I mean, over here, perfectly east. And up there, which I'm not gonna do, is perfectly north. I mean, it's it's great. Um, I mean, you can create a little voicemail real quick, which I love this feature. So like, let's say I'm trying to read, like, well, actually, I don't even know I could do this. It's a really good feature. Like last night, I was, I do my little test and I'm able to do attempt, a re-attempt from them. So I want to go ahead and make sure that I choose the right answers for the ones that I got correct. And the one, I can change the ones that I got wrong and not choose the wrong answer over again. So I'll go on there and go question one was this, two, three, four, the whole of my questions on my quiz. And then say, oh, question one and four and five was wrong. And then I can go back and listen to that as I'm retaking the test and I can get most of them always right. Um, I mean, it's amazing how you can do it. Like, let's say you're in like traffic or something, or I don't know. What would be, I know, okay. The teacher says that number one is the going to be an uh, apple. Whatever, you know, and then you can just go ahead and you can listen to that right back. And bam. I also found this pretty useful if I wanted to, I don't know, I just thought of this, but I might be able to record music on here and then I can actually play it on my Apple Watch. Um, I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with this watch. I mean, I just love the notification benefits and so much more. I really miss when the Apple Watch first came out, you were able to use Instagram and Twitter and all of them and have like the app, but now you can't. I mean, I love being able to see my calendar, so my next event's gonna be on Monday. I mean, I can just look at all my events in my calendar, find my, be great. I can go ahead and I can find my, um, find my phone. I can find my sister, my grandmother right now. My grandmother's in Newville. She's currently at Bingo. Um, but I mean, like I can go ahead and I can get directions right now. Bam, I found directions. I'll do its thing here and it'll let me right up. I, I mean, it's, it's great. The weather, I mean, I can check the weather. I mean, it is just amazing what I can do. Um, even AccuWeather has an app. I think they actually charge for it. No, they don't. It's totally free. It's 38 right now. I mean, what you can do on this Apple Watch is crazy. I mean, you can even go to the Apple Store and check your orders. Now, one thing that I would love to see on the Apple Watch is I would love to see an Amazon app. I use Amazon so much, and I would love to be able just to go ahead and instead of ripping out my phone, just to want to know if my Am if my Amazon order ship, which I'm actually kind of curious to see if it did ship. I have printer ink and cuticle oil coming in. It's not shipped yet, but it's running tomorrow by 10 p.m. Uh, but I mean, it's amazing what the Apple Watch can do. And you know, with the watch app, you can uh, do all kinds of different stuff. You can create watch faces, quickly add them on your phone or on your watch. I'm just like, it's crazy. Um, now, of course, I do have cellular and it will load up my plan. But now I actually have to set up cellular. And this watch is with Sprint, not my actual phone company, which is, as you can see up top, at Xfinity Mobile. This Apple Watch with Sprint, so I cannot hook it up with cellular um, unless I use a Sprint phone. But I mean, it would be, or, yeah, it would be amazing if I actually could. My app view, some people didn't know this, but if you click on app view, you can change it to list and grid, and then you can also click, um, you can also click um, arrangement, and you can change the arrangement of all of them. And I mean, it's nuts what all we have on here. I mean, calculator is one of my newest favorite ones. The FedEx app to track a package. I mean, you can use the Holy Bible, and I think you can read on here. Um, there's Outlook to read your emails. Um, maybe I could use that one. And you can also turn on and turn off the apps that you don't want. 
So like, for example, like Gmail, I could turn on and off, but they don't even have an Amazon app or a app. But I think I'm actually gonna use my Outlook. I mean, I only use that really for my school email, but I think I might make a, another one. And then I'll just turn off the um, things, and that way I can check my Gmail. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my email account right now. So that is, my other one is, Boston, okay, to the rest of my email. Basically, if you guys want to uh, email me as a business related, you can email me at austinluxurylife1230 at gmail.com. And it will easily put you right in touch with me. But yeah, just go to, uh, and just send me an email there, um, and you can go ahead and get me now. I'm going to go ahead and type in the Outlook. Because we'll always want to check my emails on here if I like look at the email. Now I see, if I look on my Outlook, I can see I have my home. I can see I have this one, which is my school, and I can also write my Google. And all of my emails will come in. So there's Google, Microsoft app, so I can see all of that. That is correct. And I like the way that the Outlook looks. Like, I think it looks amazing. Now, this is on all of them, I think. Okay, yeah, these are my grades. I actually want to delete most of these so I don't need them. Oh, wait. That was my best buy. Um, you know, actually, my mother actually emailed me something. I can actually check this out. I mean, it's not, so I'm going to get notifications on here, but I, they're all going to be flying in here, but basically, I want to just go to settings here, but anyway, I don't really know what else to say about the Apple Watch, other than I just love it so much. I love the independency, and I feel like when the Apple Watch first came out, one of my favorite things was the like, little, like, tongues, and you can go, all the different, like, hand emotions and all that, like, little, the little, uh, hand, I mean... It was amazing. And like the little faces that they did and the little heart. Like the moving emojis on the Apple Watch and you don't have any more. And when they took them away, that kind of hurt me. And I know they bring out an emojis, but an emojis ain't the same as the other emojis that were first on the Apple Watch, if you remember them. And I really miss them. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead here and get, um, And, yeah, I'm just going to... I like that for new mail for my school and then for new mail from this. I can go ahead and I can get my email from it anyway. I don't know. But I'm telling you right now, this is amazing, and I just love the Apple Watch so much, and I love being able to be able to check everything that I need to check really easy right on my watch. And I, it's just really, really simple. Okay. Well, guys, that is going to be it, because I want to go ahead and record this sunset right now. It's actually just getting below the trees. So, um, basically, let me show you guys like, the way that you can do this real quick in the middle of this video. That way, it's kind of a... Uh, so, okay, here are my windows in my house. Let me A E lock. Okay, ready? So basically what I like to do is I'll take my phone, I'll open my camera, okay? And then I just like to open up a bit my little holder and I'll stick in my phone. You gotta watch though, because your phone will fall. Thank you. 
ये कुछ हो जाएगा यार आई एम सच अ रियली क्रंच है ओके नाउ आई जस्ट प्रेस अलग अलग बटन है तो And bam, my time lapse is not running. I mean, what you can do is sick. Hello, please focus on me. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay. Well, that's my wrap today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Her band has stuff. Now I'm gonna go back here and actually fix my hair. So, if you guys enjoy, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.